Hi, I'm continuing my trip south from Coffs Harbour. I've come down to the beautiful area of Mile Lakes, which is south of Tuncurry and Foster, where I stayed for a few days. I'm going to camp in a few different places. The first one I'm going to camp at is Narani Camping Area. So I'll take you with me and this will be the start of my next vlog. Thanks for being here. I love these beautiful forest drives, but I always hope that no one is going to be heading my way. Heading towards me, I should say. I just like to take it slow, see what I see. So this is the entrance to the campground. Uh, there's two different camp areas here. One down by the lake, which is where I am. And then there's also the forestry camping. Good block of toilets there's I think four toilets plenty of toilet paper all that sort of stuff even a hand basin so yeah really perfect place to stay for three days so I'm off to a track up to an old cemetery here at Narani campground it goes up to the headland so I'm going to see what's up there another beautiful day somewhat windy but I can cope with that expected at all and a great track walking up too so having a look at all these different gravestones late 1800s early 1900s so a number of different families so it'll be interesting to know what was up here whether there was a village whether it relates to the township that's not far from here that begins with B that I can't remember in the name or quite what it was. It's one of the oldest stones, this one, 1886. And this is a very interesting um, headstone. No details, but interesting to see a metal one rather than a stone headstone. So I'm going to carry on along the track. This goes out to the headland apparently. I am keeping careful watch out for snakes, being as it's a cool day, they may be enjoying the sunny patches. Okay, that's annoying. This just comes to an overgrown area it doesn't look like that I can get to a headland oh well them's the brakes lots of lantana not much else so I hope you're enjoying the video so far I enjoyed the walk then I went back to camp and just lazed around love exploring these little tracks around the water's edge it's um, not well used but it's still fun to, to have a look at what's here I just saw that um, houseboat over there it's interesting I think it's just bark or it could be a goanna skin. So when I arrived here, which was a Sunday, this place was crowded. There was boats and there was jet skis and families. And now, midweek, just perfect. Hardly anyone's around. A few day trippers come in. But yeah, 
it's just amazing so this area that I'm at now is actually called Hearts Point it's a um, picnic area and it's just a 10 minute walk from the campground I walked back to the campground and this is where I am and that's me tucked away in the corner far end site number 16 and I've had no one else beside me the whole time and I do have enough sun to get solar back up to 100% every day I'm not sure that I'm going to go swimming today that wind's quite cool but I had a beautiful swim yesterday um, as you can tell the colour of the water it's fairly shallow until you get out just a bit it's just perfect so here it is nearly six o'clock at Narani campground well actually at Hearts Point I've come for one of my evening walks and discovered a very interesting board about the history of this place so I'll just take you over there so this is where I am now this is the cemetery I went up to this afternoon and this is where I'm camping so the history of this area is actually very interesting it used to be a place to ship the logs out from this point and also further up in the Wellingap forest and there was about a hundred workers who lived in this little area this little um, peninsula and about 350 people actually lived here so it's really quite interesting um, I'm getting a bit of reflection here but a good depiction of what actually used to happen and I love to be able to read the history of an area <laughs> who would have thought I would see two goannas just enjoying the last rays of the sun Again, I've seen one of these lovely goannas. This time I'm down at Mile Lake. And I just heard a bit of a scrunch, scrunch, and turned around this guy going up the tree. They're very good at staying still when they feel threatened, um, but you have to be a bit careful because they will climb into your tent. Hey, buddy. Not move. So I'm going to finish my first of my Miles Lake video here and I really hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching to the end. If you've enjoyed it click a like and yep till next time. Bye for now.